Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. We're on section 2-2 two, two today. Uh, graphs of linear functions, it's called. Um, and uh, this whole thing should be reviewed from Algebra 2, or if, certainly we've had pre-calculus before. Um, so just consider um, y equals 1 half x plus 3. And suppose you want to graph that. We know that this is the uh, uh, y-intercept, and we know that this is the slope. And so we want to graph it, and you can do that with a point and a slope. You can just you can graph it. Um, the y-intercept is defined as the point where x is 0 and y is 3, and we said the slope is a half. So what you want to do is plot a point first. To, to graph. Plot a point. If you have the intercept, that's the point you want. Plot the point. So I'm going to do that, and I'll go to the other side. And so here is a coordinate plane, and I want 0, 3, 1, 2, 3. Up there, I plotted the point. From that point, this is important, from that point, uh, express the slope. Tell you what I mean. That point express the slope. Come. And just keep in mind, the slope is a ratio. The slope is a ratio. It's a change in y over change in x. And in this case, the change in it's a half. In this case, the change in y is one, and the change in x is two. So, um, so we, what I want to do it, to I want to use the slope to express another point, to, to plot another point, and meaning the change in y is 1. I'm going up 1. The change in x is 2. From here, I'm going over 2. Oh. From the point you have, use the slope. Remember, the slope is a ratio. Incidentally, if the slope is a whole number, such as 3, then you express it as 3 over 1. Change in y is 3, the change in x is 1. Uh, okay, so that's that first part. Um, second, I do want to uh, 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 talk about this real quick. Increasing function, linear function, the slope is greater than 0. Uh, decreasing function, the slope is less than zero, decreasing. Um, and then a constant function, the slope is zero. Constant, well, not quite constant, try that again. The slope is zero. Um, uh, you know, like the floor. We, we use the slope uh, zero uh, quite a bit because, uh, you know, so we don't fall off. Um, and so, we, we, you know, this slope is zero. And then if I draw a line parallel to that, well, that slope's going to be zero as well. So there's a lesson here. Parallel lines have equal slopes. And not just constant functions. I mean, all uh, parallel lines have equal slopes. Parallel. Equal slopes. Ah, we make it. Um, y equals 4 uh, 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 x plus 3, uh, um, and 2y equals 8 x plus 1. They're, uh, they're parallel. Because here the slope is 4, and here if I divide by 2, 4 x plus half, the slope is 4. They're parallel lines. The slope of either one of them is 4. Excuse me a second. Uh, okay. Um, uh, parallel lines. Uh, now here, uh, so that's the theory behind it. But So let's make it a little bit challenging. Uh, because if you're given a line in what's called standard form or, uh, a, or even a slope, a point slope form, you have to extract the slope. For the next little bit in this lesson, you have to extract the slope. For example, are these two parallel? Parallel. Question mark. Are these two parallel? Um, 2x plus 3y equals 4. 
and that equation and this equation. Uh, 6x plus 9y equals 17. Are they parallel? Is this line parallel to this one? Well, I don't know. Right, no, or right off the bat. I will if I got the slope. So what I want to do is algebra. I want to put this in a slope-intercept form. Uh, 3y is negative 2x uh, uh, plus 4. Ah, I run out of room. So, uh, uh, so now I'm going to divide by 3. y is negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. That's one of them. I'm going to work with the second one. Ah, excuse me. Um, 9y equals uh, uh, um, uh, negative 6x plus 17. Notice I keep the x first. That's my choice. You could be saying 17 minus 6x. That's your choice. The x coordinate is the slope. Just remember that. So I'm going to divide by y, uh, 9 rather. Uh, negative 6 ninths is negative 2 thirds. x plus, uh, what, 17 ninths? Yes! Parallel, because the slopes are the same. So all you have to do is extract the slope, you put it in slope intercept form. That's how you extract the slope. Just get it, just solve for y. Uh, and the slope just pops out at you. And if they're the same, they're parallel. Once you talk about perpendicular, then we're going to go to, oh, excuse me, once you talk about parallel, then we're going to perpendicular lines. Uh, perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a right angle, like that. If the angle is a right angle. Th those two lines are perpendicular. That's what I said to. Um, and so they're perpendicular. Now, the product of uh, the product of two lines, two perpendicular lines, the product of the slopes of, of the slopes of two lines perpendicular to one another. Two perpendicular lines. Uh -oh. lines. The product of the slopes, m1 times m2, is negative 1. The two words we remember from algebra 2 to uh, uh, denote this is the slopes are opposites of one another and at the same time reciprocal. So if one of the slopes was, say, uh, 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 2, a, a line perpendicular to the slope would be negative 1 half. If a, a line has a slope of uh, uh, 5 uh, eighths, a perpendicular line would have a slope of negative 8 fifths. Opposites. And reciprocals. So now we're going to do a problem like this and say, hey, are these two lines perpendicular? Uh -huh. I think that's what we're going to do. Right line. Right along. Oh, okay. Uh, how about this? Let's skip ahead. Instead of doing the same problem again, we have to extract, extract the slope. Um, given a point. And a line. And what we want to do is um, uh, give the equation of a line perpendicular to it. So, for example, the point three zero, the slope. Oh, uh, the point three zero, slope four. That's what we're given. Determine long, uh, equation. Of line perpendicular. Perpendicular to this one. First thing you have to do, there's the slope of the line that's given. Opposite reciprocals. The slope, if this is 4, then a perpendicular line is going to be negative 1 fourth. Now you have a point slope. Y, I mean, you have a point and a slope. Y minus 0 equals negative 1 fourth x minus 3. And there you go. Um, uh, let's see. And we can pick them out on a graph. Whoops. How about um, perpendicular to 1 third x minus 1 and through the point uh, five, 5, 7. Uh, 
uh, uh, it, it, y equals one third x minus one, and through the point five seven. Uh, what am I talking about here? Write the line. Uh, give me the equation of the line. The equation of line through five seven perpendicular to. y equals one third x minus one. So that's the direction. So all, all we want is an equation of a line. Why? Uh, the, the slope of this line then is going to be, let's see, one third opposite reciprocals. Slope is negative three. Y minus seven equals negative three x minus five. And there it is. That's in point slope form. Of course, we are uh, trying to put everything in slope intercept form. Y minus 7 equals negative 3x plus 15. Y equals negative 3x. That is 7 plus 22. Whoops, 22. There's that. All right. I think we'll stop right here. There's one more concept, and we'll hit that next time.